So it's a known fact that uh, Mahatma Gandhi used to read the Bhagavad Gita as a great source of inspiration. And the Bhagavad Gita is full of mantras, 700 Sanskrit shlokas. And the most important, the essence of all the shlokas of the, all the mantras or verses of the Bhagavad Gita is found in the 18th chapter, text 65. And it was given by Lord Krishna, who then came back again in this age, whereas he appeared as uh, Lord Krishna, Bhagavan Sri Krishna and Dwaparayu. He appeared again in this age of Kali Yuga, the age of quarrel and hypocrisy, in a hidden secret manifestation, undercover, you can say. So the original slogan in the Gita is Manmana bhava matpakto matyaji mang namaskuru Always think of me, become my devotee, worship me and offer your pranams, your homage unto me. Doing this, I promise you will come to me because you are my very dear friend. Pratityane Priyosini, you are very dear to me. So human society is dear to the original creator of the universe and the upholder and the uh, maintainer of mankind. So Mahaprabhu Mantra Mela will um, also include uh, mantras from the medieval times, um, such as the ones that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu uttered when he was uh, present in his incarnation as Jana Avatar, Golden Avatar, the secret incarnation of Bhagavan Sri Krishna. He gave uh, eight shlokas called Sri Shikshastaka in beautiful Sanskrit. Ja as follows. Speaking of Mahaprabhu Mantra Mila, love a new clear consciousness for the nuclear age. The first principle he gave was Chetu Darpanamarjanam, cleansing the mirror of the mind. Darpana means in Sanskrit the mirror. And Chetu Darpana Marjanam means marjanam, cleaning the mirror of consciousness to bring in a new clear consciousness, a proper reflection of reality. So that is um, described in the Shikshastaka in the first verse as Chaitu Tarpana Marjanam Bhava Mahada Vakni Nirvapanam Shreya Kairava Chandika Vitaranam Vityabharu Jeevanam Anandam Buddhivardanam Badipadam Puranam Ritta Svarnam Saravatmasnabanam Param Vijayati Sri Krishna Sankirtanam. And Sri Krishna Sankirtana means coming together, chanting and playing musical instruments, dancing and partying for the right cause, celebrating the creative spirit of joy and of love and of life. And that is what is called Sankirtan. Everyone coming together, singing together, enjoying life together in a uh, non-harmful, non-toxic, peaceful, uh, beautiful manner. Namna makari baudhani cha sarva shakti stitrapitan yamitas marani nakala etatrishi tapakripa bhagavan mama pitur taiva mitrisham yaha jinnanuraka. So he is saying that in spite of this benediction being given, the prime benediction for humanity at large, spreading the rays of the benediction moon of this Sankirtan movement, this coming together in a beautiful and peaceful, non-violent manner. In spite of that benediction, that blessing being given to mankind, we are so unfortunate, we have no attraction for that. Nanuraga, no real interest or enthusiasm for that. And how do we generate the enthusiasm? He says, Trinara bisuni china tarori vasa hishnuna manina manadina kirtanya sadahari. That one who is more humble than a blade of grass can be more tolerant than a tree, devoid of all sense of false prestige, and always ready to offer all respects to others. Such a person who can truly say namaste, all glories and respects unto you. Um, he can continuously chant these sacred mantras, especially the Maha Mantra, great chanting for deliverance. 
And in doing that, we can manifest so many wonderful um, blessings and benedictions for ourselves and each other and our loved ones and for the planet. And he then goes on to say, na dhanam na jannam na sundarim kavitam bhari kamaya mama janmani janmanishvare bhavatat bhakti rahay tukitvai saying, I do not, O oh Almighty Lord, I do not want uh, wealth and accumulating wealth for my own sake, name, fame and self-aggrandizement. I don't want a lot of followers or to enjoy the company of beautiful women. I simply want your unconditional loving devotional service in my life, birth after birth. Even if, like a bodhisattva, we have to come back again next lifetime to help uplift the planet, the vibration of consciousness of human society, no harm, as long as we are here to serve and support and uh, contribute to the greater good. Ainanda tanutya kingaram paritam mishame bavamudao kripaya tabapada pangaja stitta dule satrisham chintaya. He's then saying, although we are here to do good, we also have a sense of homesickness. We long to be in the eternal, immortal realm. Uh, the land of nectar. So he is saying, O oh, son of Maharaj Nanda Krishna, I am your eternal servitor, yet somehow or other I have fallen down into this ocean of birth and death. Now please pick me up from this ocean of death and place me as one of the atoms in the dust of your lotus feet. Now that doesn't necessarily mean to have to uh, die and leave this world for good, but it can be mean to be engaged in a way that we are not uh, identified the material existence and materialism and the binding principles of material nature. Then he goes on to say, Nayanam galara shudharaya varanam gatkara rutaya vira pulakaya nichitam pukata tavanam agrahane bhavishyati. So he is praying to become absorbed in the chanting of these sacred mantras in such a way that he will feel genuine ecstasy and divine. Uh, acceleration and joy and exuberance and happiness from within. Joy, as we know, is something we feel from inside out. It's not something we can bring from outside in. Really and truly, the joy of being is within our hearts. So he's going on to say, Yugaitam nimishena chakshusha pravishaitam shunyaitam jagat sarvam govinda virahinam. Now, we are not linked with the source of all creation just like a mobile phone that is not charging up or a laptop that has lost its battery life, we will then feel depleted. So he's expressing that mood of feeling out of touch with the source of all creation. And he's saying in that situation, the whole universe appears void and the moment seems like 12 years or more because I'm feeling uh, separation from the source of all creation. And then he concludes Aslishyava Paradatang Binashtama Matarishanan Maramahatang Karutava Yatatatava Vitatatu Lambato Matpranatas to Saivanapara. He's saying that actually you are the Supreme Lord, you can do with me what you want. You can make me broken hearted by not being present before me, or not being prominent within my heart or you can crush me in your embrace. Whatever you want to do, you're free to do because you are the Supreme Lord and I'm your eternal servitor. I'm just like an instrument to become like a dancing puppet in the hands of the puppet master. So let me become like that, fully surrendered, fully able to serve. Then he goes on to conclude the ninth shloka, which is not officially the part of Sri Sri Shastaka, but Mahaprabhu's Final conclusion is Nahambi Pranachana Pi Nahambi Pranachana Rapatiana Pivaishuna Shutru Nahambarinina Takriya Patiya no Vanastuya Tiereva Kindu Pratyani Kila Paramananda Puranam Ritapti Gopi Bhartu Patakamala Yor Dasa Dasa Nudasa. Saying we are not to identify ourselves with all our achievements or our position in society or the part of the planet we've been born, or the family we've been born into, or the financial situation of wealth or prestige. All of these things are external to the real soul, the living being within the body. 
So the soul is there, as Mahatma Gandhi so profoundly said, we are spiritual beings having a human experience, not human beings having a spiritual experience. Perhaps the most profound of all uh, the quotes and sayings and realizations of that great leader of modern India. So, he's saying, Gopi Bharatu Patakamali or Dasa Dasa Dasa. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is saying that I'm not the Lord of others, I'm not the enjoyer of so many things. What am I? I am the servant of the servant of the master of the gopis. Krishna, who is known as Gopinath, the god of love. So love aid is to celebrate that there is an original, eternal, divine love affair between the Supreme Lord and his eternal consort, God and Goddess. And we can harmonize with that love and become um, vessels for um, agents of that divine love. And that is Mahaprabhu's Mantra Mela, Love Aid, Nuclear Consciousness for the Nuclear Age. Om Tat Sat. Eternal life is given. Let's give it a thought. To honesty driven, a lion has wrong. Belong some.